Good day everyone, it's Mitch from Bushlaw Park Uh Today we're going to do a quick setup video for you guys on the Bushlaw Park Roymir. It is the relaunch of the Roymir. It was available previously, uh, it was discontinued, but we have decided to relaunch the unit again. So this is the newest version that you would receive if you order today. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a quick uh, walk around and a setup and breakdown video for you guys. Okay, so first off, as with all our caravans, we're going to do the leveling part. Uh, we're not going to level it 100% today, but just to give you guys an uh, idea of how to set up the jacks or stabilizers, and then using the jockey wheel to level. So very important on all the bush lapas, always remember to lean over towards the spare wheel. So the spare wheel side will be your lowest point, so you can have natural flow around the roof. The water can flow off if you have severe weather. So I've already installed one jack or stabilizer and I'm going to install the other one so you guys can see. One thing that we do see people tend to put this on the roof and forget about it. So put it somewhere where it's going to bother you so you can put it back into position when you're done. Take your jack off. The simple as taking it off, it fits on the same bracket on the chassis. So you can use these as physical jacks to change a tire as well. So they stabilizers and jacks. Uh, then when we go to the front, you'll see the jockey wheel where we would then manipulate the level on the unit. So on the front end, it's basically just jacking up and down and that will level the unit in the uh, longest part of the unit and the other two jacks or stabilizers will level in the width. From there, setup would be roof then side bed, then front bed, if you had a front bed, the Roymir doesn't have a front bed, it's got a nice storage compartment, and then your awning. All right, so we're going to do the roof quickly for you guys, and then we'll do the side bed and the awning. So let's start off with the clips in the front. So you've got two clips in the front. And then two clips in the rear. Make sure you always clip back your R keys into position, otherwise you do lose them. I'm just going to open the step. So it's got a nice fixed step ladder nut system that you would... Uh, uses your entry step. Remember the bracket, as I said just now, always just put it back into position so you don't lose it. Open your door. Get out your stopper pole. And as easy as push up on the roof, the roof opens up on the back end. I'm going to jump in and open from the inside on the front end. So all your bush lapas come with mosquito nets and canvas windows. They do open by the roof. Just going to open these. Okay, so when you have your roof open, next step would be opening your bed. So first things first, just get out your fly sheet. Remember again, reflective part will be to the top. Slides in above the bed, put your fly sheet on the roof. Open your bed. Get out the framework. As you lift up, your legs will fold out. Clip them into position. And strap down your tent. Okay, I'm done with that. 
Oh, they're actually back. Slide it down the one way. And down the other way. Get out your spring rods. We've got three of them. And then install your spring rod. Tip for you guys, when you're using the spring rods, always make sure you've got a secure hold on them and also keep it away from your face if it slips out of your hand so it doesn't hit you in the face if it slips accidentally. And that's your side bed made up. Okay, so the Roemir, being a two sleeper, will have a nice big storage box for you guys up here. Um, you can put bedding, ground sheets, side panels, extra crates. Um, whatever you want to put in there, it's, it's quite a nice large storage box, easy to access, it is an outside access storage box, so it would be stuff that you're not going to use every day, that I would store in there. Yeah, so if we look into the nose box, you've got your gas system on this side, one will be for your stove, one will be for your geezer, and then on the other note, in the other nose box, you've got all your charging cables, so here we go, your gas fitting and also your basins for the rear. So I'm going to take them out, we can quickly put on the basin frame. So the frame just slides into the bracket over there. And your basins go in there, or well, sorry, basin, dry rack, will slide in there. And there you go. So we're going to set up the awning for you guys quickly. That will be next. Okay, so next would be setting up the awning. So it works similar to all the other units uh, in the Bush Lapa range. It's a little bit smaller awning, uh, but it's more than adequate for two people. So it opens up from front to rear. Again, it is a 270 degree awning. So it's a 90 degree by 270, uh, meaning it covers your back door. And it covers your stove, it comes off at a 90 degree in the front end and 270 in the rear. It also comes with a full set of side panels included, so you don't have to buy that separately. So when you open up first arm, first rope that you find will be the one that we walk back with. Always make sure you tuck back your bag here, so you don't pinch your bag in between any brackets. Open up and just loosely hook it to the body okay then we go to the front part so we open up the first arm and make sure you adjust your canvas by pulling on the pull strap that pull strap there getting your canvas square so you want that seam if you look underneath that seam to be square with your arm get out one of your long poles there's two of them identical, so any one of the two. Start with the front position on the awning. Hold down your leg. And then we tension to the rear. So to tension to the rear, you've got two clips, one on the roof and one just below the roof. They are your tension clips. And then pull nice and tight. And that's your awning setup. If you want to make lunch quickly, that's all you have to do. If you're going to be stationary for a day or two or sleeping over, I would suggest putting in all the rest of your poles. That's what we're going to do now, just to show you how to completely set up the awning. So first off, you can set up your wind poles. 
You can get out the rest of all your poles. Here's your second long one. That goes just behind the first one we installed. Then you've got three shorter poles. They are installed in the rear. There we go. Okay. Then we've got our uprights or rain poles. If we look at them, we've got two long ones and three shorter ones. The rule of thumb, long ones with the long poles, short ones with the short poles. So the long ones come here in the front by the kitchen, the short ones go to the rear. Okay. So I'm going to install these two quickly. Okay, so lastly, when you have all your poles in, we want to drop down our legs. So it's as easy as just releasing your Velcro. Okay, when you peg down your unit, your guide ropes are attached to the awning. What we suggest is to try and peg it down a foot away from the pole. Try and pull it down. Don't try and pull it away. You want to keep tension on the awning pulling down. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a quick walk around for you guys and a walk through. Explain some of the things on the way mirror that is different to the other ones. Um, so again, as a recap, it is a two sleeper. It only has space for two people. It's got a standard double bed. Um, kitchen is roughly the same as all the other units in the range. Being a bit of a smaller unit, it does have a bit of a smaller kitchen drawer, but it still houses a 90 liter, 90 liter National Luna fridge or your 82 liter Snowmaster. Currently we've got a, a double door 72 liter Luna in there. Here's your pots and pans drawer, cutlery drawer. Kitchen, same as the other units. Um, they do vary a bit in, in width and uh, length on the kitchen compartments, but they work the same. Your nice work surface area where you can chop and prep, wash up on the rear with a dry rack single basin. The geyser is optional, that's why you see this one doesn't have a geyser in it. Only one tap. If you add the geyser, we'll add a hot water tap for you. On the inside, as I said, standard double bed, a lot of storage compartments for clothing, and then also storage compartments next to the bed. <clears throat> and then under the bed there is a nice big storage compartment as well i'm just going to lift up for you guys to see there so a nice big storage compartment so that lid lifts up there and you can access the storage your battery also stays in there so this unit comes with one battery standard it's 105 liter water tank standard uh, awning is standard, side panels are standard, so you'll be adding, I would say, solar, fridge, gas bottles. Uh, if you want the geyser, you add the geyser as well as a shower cubicle. Um, again, as I say, setup is quite easy and quick. Um, standard double bed, reflective fly sheet over the double bed is standard. You've got storage behind your fridge compartment, so when your fridge slides in, you've got storage behind that. And then this large storage box on the top uh, for excess crates and ground sheets and side panels. <clears throat> okay, so that is the walk around on the Remir. So that's the setup. We're gonna quickly do a breakdown 
and yeah thank you very much okay so that was the setup of the Roymir so we're gonna break down now um, first things first we put away all our kitchen utensils our kitchen storage compartments close all the um, hatches that we're not going to use make it easy to move around the unit then breakdown is very quick and easy so we're going to do a one continuous video for you guys so you can see how it works and uh, yeah we'll take it from there all right so as i said first things first let's close all the kitchen compartments and hatches so there's your kitchen compartment we close our work surface area take out our basins Take out the basin frame. Okay, so first things first, always start with the awning. Uh, so you work it back in reverse the way we set up. So start with your rain poles. Drop down. Tensioner poles. Okay, starts from the back end working to the front. Take out all your cross members. Front leg and front cross member stay still last, so we leave that in position. Lift our legs. Remember to fold down your bag and then front cross member. So, what you want to do is lift up, putting your arm underneath. That will make sure that you don't damage the material, having any rubbing issues. So we want metal on metal. Release the back end. Take your long sheets, fold it in half, up to your left hand, roll it nice and tight. <coughs> Always start with the front one, or front lip. Don't pull too hard, it's just a strap to hold it in position, so not to tension it up. Put all your poles in your bag, close your bag. Put it on top and use your second strap to tie down your awning poles as well as your awning. There we go. That's the awning. 
Then we'll do the bed next. So first things first, get your mattress out the way. So if you guys want to watch from this side. So now I'm just going to put my bedding in my one cupboard. Mattress folds in half. So all you do is just pick up and pull on it. The rest all happens from outside. First thing, get out your spring rods. Put them back in the bag. And put them next to the fridge. Right, so then slide out your fly sheet. Fold it up as neat as you can. Release your elastic band around the base. Work your way around. Okay, pull on your legs. They fold up to the center. Take both or all three of them together. <coughs> Lift up your panel, just make sure you have no tents sticking out. It's going to stop the rubber from sealing or damage the tent flaps. And fold it closed. Close this door while we're here. Okay. So your storage compartment. And last but not least will be the roof. So I'm going to zip up the windows, makes it a bit easier for the tent to fold in. So I'm going to do that quickly. So in doing this, you'll make sure that you don't pinch any tents. But while the roof comes down, always make sure you pull in on the tent. Okay, start from the rear. Just pull down. Make sure you pull in all your tent work as it comes down. There we go. And then pull down the front. Same story, make sure you pull in all the tent work as it comes down. Switch off all the power that you're not going to be using again. And close your door. <clears throat> Clear your step. Secure your roof. And lastly would be taking out your stabilizers or jacks and securing them. We do the front part of the roof quickly. Right.
And there you go. So that is the Roymir uh, breakdown. So you can see quick and easy, no video magic, no editing. Um, we basically broke down the whole unit in probably 10 minutes. So it's easy setup, quick and easy, uh, fast free camping, very, very easy. Thank you for watching and we appreciate it.